Welcome everyone, and in this video we're going to be talking about quick item pads in Quantify. We're in the takeoff screen, and before we get into the quick item pads that are here on the right hand side, I want to point out the slower method on the left hand side. So here we have our list of items. And you can go through and find whatever item you want, double click it, set your attributes and start doing a takeoff. But the quick item pads are a much, much faster way. Now you might need to use the items list or the assemblies list, which is very similar. It's your whole list of all the assemblies we have in the system. Again, you double click it, set your attributes and you can start taking off from the list on the left if you'd like. But there is a much faster way, and that is with the quick item pads. So over here, out of the box, Quantify comes with a list of quick item pads that we have set up for you. And what they are is instead of going through all of these menus and finding out the different items you need to take off, you can set these items wherever you want, in whatever order you want, with whatever colors you want and attributes you want, so you can quickly select them and go. and I can take off a junction box, I can select a switch, and I can take off a switch, and everything becomes much, much faster. Now I can create a new quick item pad by clicking this button here, or I can edit an existing quick item pad. So I'm gonna click the edit button, and we can see here I can rename to whatever I want, and I can select any of these items in here, and I can change the color. If I want to change what color I'm taking off with these items, I can also change an icon. So these items here do not have icons, but if I wanted to attach an electrical icon, let's say this screw, I could do that. Now, the other thing I can do is I can select the shape, whether it is a polyline, a circle, rectangle, or simply a straight line. Uh, I can select whatever shape I want by clicking and dragging onto that item. Now over on the right hand side we see items and assemblies. And this is something you might have heard the difference explained in other videos, but I will quickly go over it again, is that in Quantify we have a difference between an item and an assembly. And I'm going to use say a plug or a switch as an example. And if you have a plug that's an item, that means it's just that plug itself. Whereas a plug as an assembly is the plug, the box, the plate, the marettes, the wire, the screws, everything you need to, to install that plug, everything that's gonna come in with it. And there's a reason sometimes you want or need assemblies and sometimes you want or need just an item. For an example, a junction box we have in here as just an item. It is just the box. And for all of these plugs and switches and even the wiring, we have assemblies. So for the wire, it's going to bring in the conduit, the straps, and it's going to calculate how many straps are needed per distance uh, that you run it. So if I want to add anything in here, let's say I want to add in an assembly. And let's go into fixtures and lighting LED and here we have some fixtures let's say I want to add in this recessed LED light all I do is I drag it over and I pick which square I want it to be in once it's there like before I can click it and set a color maybe I want my lighting to be blue line width is the width of the line whether it's a polyline circle rectangle that's going to surround it so i'm probably going to want to bring this down to be say three pixels and let's select an icon just for fun of this light here now we're not done yet because the last thing we need to do is we need to select the shape how is this going to be taken off the most common for lighting is a rectangle. So I'm going to drag and drop onto here, this rectangle. Now when I click Save Changes, I can see here that the item where I updated the icon is right here. 
And here's my new light. If I click on this light, it brings up my attributes that I can select, add in a tag, maybe it's an FS1, and then clicking with the left button, holding and dragging to get whatever size I want. I can then start taking off lights. I can keep clicking with the left button to set my lights and right click to commit. And that was an assembly we created. So you can see here we have the down arrow in the audit trail, which will show me all of the items that were brought in with that assembly. If you want to create a new quick item pad, the procedure is the same. You just get a blank template to start with. That's it for this video on quick item pads. There are many more videos that explain all the other features and functions of Quantify. Please be sure to check them out. For more information, please reach out to us at info at